Sources connecting Joseph Smith to the notorious pirate Captain Kidd are numerous. I want to start by sharing a newspaper article that was published in 1825. Even the frightful stories of money being hid under the surface of the earth, and enchanted by the devil or Robert Kidd, are received by many of our fellow citizens as truths. And one of those was Joseph Smith Jr. A month and a half after the Book of Mormon was published, a story was published in one of the local newspapers telling the story of one of the Smith boys, the Oracle, looking into a stone in his hat and finding the treasure of Captain Kidd. In 1834, E.D. Howe stated that the Smiths firmly believed in ghosts, witches, fortune-telling, and that the earth was filled with buried treasure hidden by Captain Kidd or the Spaniards. In 1844, residents of Vermont wrote to Joseph Smith, reminding him that they had personal knowledge of his father, pretending that old Bob Kidd had buried treasure. In 1867, Pomeroy Tucker, a resident of Palmyra, who claimed to have first-hand knowledge of the Smiths, said that the stories of Stephen Burroughs and Captain Kidd and the like presented the highest charms for his expanding mental perceptions. In 1872, Orrin Porter Rockwell, who was a schoolmate and friend of the Smiths, told of Joseph Smith's treasure quests. Not only was there religious excitement, but the phantom treasure of Captain Kidd were sought for far and near, even in places like Camorra. In 1876, an early Danish convert to the Mormon church, named John Manson, reported that Joseph Smith found his plates while he was digging for treasure, which was supposed to have been buried by the notorious buccaneer Captain Kidd in the western part of New York State. In 1877, a man named William D. Purple, who had first-hand knowledge of the Smiths, said that Joseph Smith Jr. took it upon himself to seek for hidden treasure, and that it could have very well been that of Captain Kidd. In 1890, Thomas Gregg also told stories of Joseph Smith seeking for the treasure of Captain Kidd. And in a letter to Thomas Gregg, Stephen S. Harding, who knew the Smiths well, said that Joseph Smith spent several years searching for pots and iron chests of money, supposed to have been buried by Captain Kidd. In 1888, J.H. Kennedy, who was personally acquainted with the Smiths, said that Joseph Smith Jr. confessed to him that the autobiography of Captain Kidd left a deep impression upon his mind. He even memorized a few of the lines of the Captain Kidd shanty. Kennedy even said that Joseph would tell his gaping audience where the treasure of Kidd and others lay concealed. In 1873, Philetus B. Spear, who also had first-hand knowledge of Joseph Smith, said, Joseph had for a library a copy of the Arabian Nights, stories of Captain Kidd, and a few novels. Joseph claimed to know where Captain Kidd had hidden money in Palmyra. And in 1888, in the newspaper The Naked Truths About Mormonism, William Hine also claimed first-hand knowledge of the Smiths. And he told the story of Joseph Smith translating Captain Kidd's treasure map. In the same newspaper, we have the story of K.E. Bell and his brother Milo. K.E. Bell says that his brother knew Joseph when he was digging near the Susquehanna River and searched for Captain Kidd's treasure. So that was 14 sources, and 9 of them were first-hand? Joseph Smith's connection to Captain Kidd cannot be denied.